Hello everybody, welcome to HD Piano, my name is Dion. Today we're learning how to play Blinded by the Light. Originally written by Bruce Springsteen, but made famous by Manfred Mann's Earth Band. This is part one, we'll learn how to play the main riff of the song, which plays through the intro and the choruses. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So it's this really cool driving organ riff. Important to note, this is originally played on an organ, not a piano. So it'll sound a lot brighter on the piano, a little bit different to what you're used to in the original recording. So this riff that we just heard happens through the intro of the song, as I said, and all the way through the choruses. Now there's lots of variations of how many repeats are being played, what happens in the left hand. We're going to cover all of those in another video over at hdpiano.com, so make sure you join me there after this video to learn the rest of the song. We'll get stuck straight into this, and as you may have seen then, it's mainly right hand work through this part. So let's start with our right hand. We're working with some chords and some very repetitive chords played quite quickly. The first chord we're playing is an A minor. And we're playing this A minor chord in second inversion. All that means is we have E at the bottom, A in the middle, and C up the top. Our next chord is a G minor. Again, in second inversion. So now we have D at the bottom, G in the middle, and B flat at the top. So again, those two chords, A minor, G minor, then F major in root position. This gets modified to an F sus4, so the A in the middle becomes a B flat. Back to F, and then an F sus2, where the A in the middle becomes a G. The last chord we're going to learn is a B flat chord. Now, this B flat is played, as you guessed it, in second inversion, like everything else. So we have F at the bottom, B flat in the middle, and D at the top. So that's our main collection of chords. Now the chorus starts in a bit of a funny way in this song each time through. Officially it kind of starts on the B flat chord, but the very first chord we hear in the intro is the A minor. So we have this A minor chord and it plays through on every eighth note inside the bar. So we're counting one and two and three and four and. So we're playing on every count and every end. One and two and three and four and. Very bouncy, very repetitive. So I want to make sure as you're playing through these fast bouncy chords that you stay nice and easy with your hand. If you find yourself clenching up into a bit of a claw, you're going to get a really tight, sore arm very quickly when you're learning this song. So try to keep things feeling easy. Make sure that you're giving yourself every opportunity to play these chords quickly by using all the movement available to you in your fingers and your wrist and your elbow and your shoulder, everything all combined. If you can see my hands and my wrists, they're actually a little floppy. That's what lets me get that speed without tightening up and getting really sore. So we have the A minor for eight hits. The G minor for eight hits. When we get to the F, we play two on the F, two on the F sus4, back to two on the F, and two on the F sus2. That bar of F all together sounds like F sus4, F sus2. Let's put those three bars together. Two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and F sus, F sus. Beautiful work. As I said, the following chord now is a B flat chord. And this kind of begins the cycle of our next four bar loop. We're going to call this bar one of our next four bars. Even though it's the fourth bar of the song, 
really the start of the next cycle. You'll understand what I mean. So we're starting off with B flat. Again, we hit this eight times on our eighth notes. Then we go back to A minor. But something strange happens this time. We move our highest note, which is C, up to D for two, up to E for two, back down to D for one, and then C for one. Let's have a listen to that again. We have A minor with a D, up to E, then D, C. The bottom two notes are the same, but the top note goes travelling. Then down to the G minor. Now on the eighth hit, we add a D at the top of this chord. So it becomes a four note version of our G minor chord. Five, six, seven, eight. That's on the eighth hit or on beat four and. Following this, we have our bar of our F major with its changes. Let's put those four bars together from the B flat. Three and four and. Two and three and four and. A minor with the traveling top. G minor. Three and four top. F, sus, F. Let's go through that again. The B flat. A minor. And the F. So that four bar cycle is what I call, I guess, the loop that is used through the choruses. That part in the intro goes through three times, just like that. So we have the first three bars starting on the A minor, to the G minor, to the F. Now when we hit this B flat, that's the start of the cycle that repeats three times. And on and on. Once that three times has gone through, we keep the same right hand, but our left hand comes into play. Left hand is going to play a low C, two octaves below middle C. It's just gonna be held down over those first two bars. Now this left hand is emulating the bass guitar in the song. So as you view the other parts of the song over at HD Piano, you will find me playing bass lines with my left hand. Right hand is organ, left hand is bass guitar. So this low C gives our bass guitar entry. The bass guitar slides up an octave up to the C, one octave below middle C for our G minor chord. And that gets held down underneath the two bars of G minor and F. So again, those four bars with the introduction of the left hand. Three and four and one. Hold it down for two bars. Move up an octave. As I said, this will have some variations which you will learn in another video. So we're going to go through this whole intro from start to finish, including all of the repeats. Now, before we do that, I have a very important question to ask you. This song is called Blinded by the Light. How many of you have viewed an eclipse? I know there's been quite a few, seems like, in the last five years or so, and we saw certain people looking at the eclipse without any sunglasses on, which was very, very silly. I want to know if you've witnessed any sort of eclipse, because... I guess that's one of the times you can actually get blinded without meaning to, because it's still very bright looking at any part of the sun. Tell me about your eclipse stories in the comments below. Okay, so we're going to go from the start of the intro, the three bar phrase, then the four bar phrase repeated three times, and then the last time or the fourth time adds in that left hand. Are you ready with me? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now we're into the four bar phrase. We're onto the second time through. Third time. Add the left hand. So 
there we go. That is our intro and main riff, chorus riff, many parts of our Blinded by the Light song. So make sure you join me over at hdpiano.com for the rest of the lesson. Make sure you're following us here on Instagram, on YouTube, new content happening all the time. If there's any songs you want us to teach you, head over to our website at requests.hdpiano.com. And I'll see you again here very soon. Bye for now.